Hey guys, what's up? Dr. Jason Barker with the Natural Athletes Clinic and I want to talk to you guys about the nine most important blood tests that you can get to make sure that you are optimizing your health and keeping tabs on how your performance is going. Okay, so the first one that you want to get is an iron panel with a ferritin. You need to get both of these done. Don't do one without the other. Ferritin is a storage form of iron in your body and of course the iron panel looks at how much iron is actually floating around. Very important because if you're low in iron, you're going to feel tired. You're not going to make enough red blood cells. You're not going to be able to deliver the energy and the oxygen around your body that you need to. Okay, second one to get is a hemoglobin A1C. Now in conventional medical circles, this test is primarily reserved for diabetics or people who have insulin resistance. And this is exactly why I do this test on everybody is because we are all susceptible to developing insulin resistance. Okay, even though you're an athlete and you eat well and you exercise, you can still develop insulin resistance, okay? And when I do this test, I can tell how many uh, gels you're eating, how many goos you're eating, how much Gatorade you're drinking, how many simple carbohydrates you're eating, okay? So if you've had a high sugar or a high glycemic diet over time, that A1C is gonna be a little bit higher, and so we can tweak your diet based on what that looks like. Okay, next uh, test to get is one called an omega check, and this looks at your omega-3 and your omega-6 fatty acids in your body. We need both of those but the standard American diet is very high in omega-6 fats. Too much omega-6 tilts your metabolic balance towards inflammation in your body, whereas omega-3s keep that inflammation down. So we wanna check this out. We can dissect your diet based on looking at this and decide whether or not you need to supplement with omega-3s. And pro tip, probably everybody needs to supplement with the omega-3s, okay? They're that important. Okay, next test you wanna get is a thyroid panel. So we can look at the thyroid gland. Your thyroid is like the, uh, or rather thyroid hormone is like the accelerator in your car. If the thyroid is running and humming along smoothly, so is your metabolism. If your thyroid is slow or it's hampered by some something or for some reason, you're not gonna feel where your, your metabolism is going to be slow, so important to check that one out also. Next test you wanna get is a highly sensitive C-reactive protein. Now make sure it's the highly sensitive version you can also get just a straight up C-reactive protein. We want the highly sensitive one. And this just tracks an inflammatory molecule that you produce in your body, and it will be elevated for a number of reasons. So if it does come back elevated, you need to test this one again and again until you figure out what the cause of it is, okay? Because C-reactive protein can be elevated if you have a sprained ankle, if you have asthma, if you're fighting an infection. So there's a lot of reasons it can be elevated, but if you don't have anything going on and you've got an elevated CRP, then we need to take some action and figure out why you are so inflamed that you're producing this uh, protein in your body. Okay, next test you wanna get is a lipoprotein particle profile, or an NMR, and all this is is a more advanced form of a lipid test, so looking at your cholesterol, but it's gonna give us a lot more information about it, specifically about the size and the shape of your cholesterol molecules. So if you are making big fluffy cholesterol molecules, that's healthier than making smaller, more dense cholesterol molecules, and of course we wanna look at this one, and just so that gives us a lot more information on your cardiovascular risk because again, even though you eat well and you're a super buff athlete, you still can be susceptible to cardiovascular disease. So I like to check that stuff out, be one step ahead of anything that's going on with you. Okay, next one you want to consider is a food sensitivity test. So food sensitivities are, or rather they occur when you're eating a food that your body is reacting against. So you can create inflammatory particles again based on what you're eating. And even if you've got the healthiest diet in the world, you still need to get a food sensitivity test because like I said, you could be eating bananas, it could be any type of food. It doesn't have to be junk food or Twinkies or anything like that. You could be eating stuff that your body, that your body does not like and it can create inflammation. So it's really super important to check out a food sensitivity test. We've got links to one on the website that you can order. You can do this test in the comfort of your own home. You just do a little finger stick collect a little blood on a piece of paper and mail it off to a laboratory and we send you the results. So you can really fine tune your diet for optimum performance based on that one. And then the last two tests you wanna consider are a CBC with a differential. That's super important with the differential part because it's gonna look into your immune system. Is your immune system working properly? Is it fighting something? Is it imbalanced? And of course, uh, the other part of this test looks at red blood cells, how many you're making, uh, the particle counts on those, so that gives us a ton of information on your red blood cell system and your white blood cells or your immune system. And then the last one is a complete chemistry. Make sure it's the complete chemistry. And this of course looks at organ function, electrolytes, kidney, liver, all this stuff normally should be running fine, but we wanna check this out just to make sure again that your body's running the way it should. 
Okay, so those are the nine tests that I do on all the athletes that come in the clinic. Of course, we can do other ones. It's all on a case-by-case -case basis, of course, but those are the nine core tests that you wanna get done. You can ask your doctor for these. Of course, you need to work with a practitioner who is knowledgeable in these tests and what it means for you as an athlete and why you're getting these done. And so check those out with your doctor. You can probably find some of these online. Like I said, we've got the food sensitivity available on the website here. So hopefully you guys can use this information, do these about once a year, and that way you can really optimize your health. You can stay a couple steps ahead of the game too and preventing anything that may be coming up. Okay guys, I hope this helps you out. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Of course, share it with your endurance buddies and of course, subscribe to our channel.